why anyone in their right minds would want to attend an event like that if you two as the hosts are going to spend the whole evening screaming at each other. So you think we might have a little PR problem? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, what do you want us to do, Biggie? Pretend otherwise? Grow up. Both of you. Why do you have to pretend? Don't you two see eye to eye where Star is concerned? Wouldn't both of you sacrifice anything on this earth to see that she gets well? You know that we would. Well, of course you will. I know that because you love her. So I tell you what, why don't you put your priorities in order and give up all this bickering and backbiting and just work together to help your daughter. Do you think you can do that? Biggie, everybody knows that Todd and I get along. We're about as chummy as Charles and Di. I mean, why pretend otherwise? You know what? Make an effort. Vicki, the last time we made an effort, we had a yacht full of people. We had food. We had music. The next thing you know, the lights go out. We had this huge argument. Some guy gets shot in the head. That's the Blair and Todd people know. Oh, you are so wrong, Todd. And as far as what happened on the big boat, we didn't kill Carlo, okay? Yeah, but that was you and me screaming at each other, right? Oh, that, that's because you finally admitted that you're the one that kidnapped my little girl. Yeah. And I almost killed you with have worry. But I wouldn't have done any of that if I hadn't seen you and Patrick doing the rug from oh, when no, I got back. Oh, that's it, I had I... enough with both of you. I am going to the banner, and I'm going to deal with some current news. And you two are going to stay here, and you're going to work this out. And when the dust settles, I would appreciate it if you would call me and let me know if you are willing to work together to save your daughter's life. So? So what? So what do you think? About what? Do you think that we can get along for Star's sake? Vicki wasn't talking about getting along. You weren't listening. I was listening, Todd. I was here. Yeah, well, maybe I just know her better, but she wasn't saying that we should get along. She's saying that, that, that we can't just pretend to get along. People are going to see right through that. They want the whole thing. They want the... Loving family jazz and the happy endings. And... In other words, everything that we are not. Right. So the question is, Blair, how real are you willing to make this look for, for Star's sake? Well, I'm willing to listen to what you have to tell me, yeah, what you're thinking. What I have to tell you is this. In order to get this fashion thing to work right, in order to find a bone marrow donor for Star, we're going to have to do more than just look like we're together. We're going to have to be together. So here's what should happen. I want you to go get Star, get out of Dorian's, and move into the penthouse with me. Blair, this isn't final jeopardy. This is a simple question. You're going to move into the penthouse or not? Would you just wait a minute? This, Todd, this is a very big decision here. No, it's not here. a big decision. Yes, All right, you and I are still going to hate each other. We're just going to ha put on a happy face for everybody else. I mean, that'll scare up a bone marrow donor for Star. Well, Vicky did say that our campaign would go over better if, if it looked like we were back together. That's right. And you and I will be the only ones who know the truth, okay? We're not a real family. We just play one on TV. Like the ones that sell frozen dinners and toilet paper. Only we'll, we'll be selling something a lot better, like a chance to, to save our kid's life. I guess no one's going to believe it unless I really do move back in. Yeah. Again. There'll be some conditions, though. Oh, there's going to be some conditions. Yeah, you're going to have to take the upstairs of the penthouse. I mean, you can have the big bedroom and, the, and Stark can have the uh, Stark's no, bedroom. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I will take the entire upstairs. Fine. Thank and you. I'll take the downstairs. If we do this right, you and I can live in the penthouse together and never say a word to one another. It's just like the family I grew up in. And everybody, even Dorian, has got to believe that you and I are back together, especially Dorian. <sighs> Come on, Todd. I mean, who's going to believe that 
We've actually made peace with one another, especially Dor... We can try. For Star's sake. All right. I will try. For a while. For Star's sake. I was thinking um, something tweety, shabby, academic type ensemble. I can help you pick it out if you'd like. Drew here said he'd do some modeling too, which I love. Wait, wait a, wait a second. Modeling? I didn't say anything about modeling. She's good, isn't she? Let's get this stupid show on the road. <laughs> Professor, please. You're going to be a hit at the fashion show. People will be talking about this for weeks. I'm sure, yes. Remember I read poetry for you at the Valentine's Day Poetry Slam? Reading poetry is one thing, making a complete fool out of yourself another. This is for Star, to help find a bone marrow donor. I'm still not gonna model. I'll do anything I can for Star. We don't need your help, Patrick. I don't want you to have anything to do with my little girl. Come on, sweetheart. Uh, don't get yourself upset. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, honey. I, I just don't want Patrick turning our life upside down like you did the last time. Especially now that I'm so happy, you know, with us being back together and everything. Back like together? Yes, Mira. That's wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> well, it's something that I have, um, I've always dreamed about. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know something? I don't think this could have happened at a more perfect time. I think this will really kick off the donor drive. In fact, I bet a lot more people will be willing to help you out. Oh, you think so? Absolutely. You have got to see what we've got planned for this fashion show. I'm going to use real people as models. Oh, and check this out. What do you think about this for the name of the show? Landview stars come out for star. What do you think, Todd? I think it, I think it sounds... We think it sounds great. Oh, yeah. Anna, Todd, by the way, we need a down payment for the, for the catering so Renee can get started on things. Yeah, well, I, I brought my checkbook. Why don't, great, great. Why don't you sit down, honey? Okay, I'll okay. meet you. Todd, I'll meet you back at our table. You okay? Yes, I'll be All fine. Right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> wow. What? I don't understand any of this. You told me how terrified you are of Todd and how you're scared that you'd give him a chance to hurt you again. Every time that man reaches out to you, it's another bit of trickery. Why the... Why would you trust him now? Uh, and only... You include absolutely everything. The hors d'oeuvres, the bar, the waiters, the setup. You, you know, you sound just like Dorian, Patrick. Really? Uh-huh. Well, then maybe you should listen to her. She knows how to judge a man like Todd. I do listen to her, and I listen to you. Look, and I know that you both... You both mean well, but this is something that I have to judge for myself. Well, uh, Todd and I, we have something that is working. It's working for us, and it's working for starting... Patrick! You can't expect me to turn my back on that. You can't expect me to just sit here and be silent. I have to play a part in this as well. My child will be raised in your house, and I don't want Todd anywhere near him. Look, I know how you feel, and we will, we will worry about that when the time comes. But right now, like it or not, Star's illness has brought Todd and me closer together. We, look, we have a new kind of partnership. We know how to comfort each other. We know where it hurts and, and how much. You know, even even the sympathy of our friends becomes a burden after after a while. I don't I don't have to thank Todd for his concern. And I don't have to tell him how I feel. Because he knows, Patrick, because he's going through exactly what I'm going through. So come on, let's go in the office and we'll go over okay, the figures. Sure. I'm not begrudging you any comfort you might need at a time like this. I hope you get it all. But to be under the same roof with that man is not needed. Just give me a chance, okay? And believe me, I will I will do whatever I can do to make sure that our, chi our child is not affected by this. But Todd and I have come together. We are united now. Because of Star, for Star. I told you that there is nothing that I would not do for my child, and now you see how serious I am. <laughs>